So start your breath from the belly. Inhale. Deep inhale. Big breath. Send it up all the way to the crown of the head. And then exhale. Let the breath travel to the back with a big sigh. Ah. And empty the belly when you exhale. Again, inhale, feel the energy rising from the foot, from the ground up to the sitting area, to the front of your abs, through the heart, into the chest, into the arms, into the neck, into the crown of the head, and reach up to the sky. Feel that energy shooting through you. One breath. And then exhale and let the breath travel to the back of your head, down the spine, deflating the lungs and down to the sit bone, to the legs and to the ground and exhale. One more at your own pace. Inhale. Expand and extend and reach. And then exhale and let it all go. Good. You can open your eyes now. Next time, open and spread your arms wide. And then bring it to heart center. <coughs> Put it at your heart. Now start rubbing the palms. Generate some heat. <coughs> now make sure it's all fingers. Knuckles, palm, everything is touch. Not here, everything. Yes. So close it. Close everything. So there's like a, an energy inside. Good, and breathe. So you're warming up. That's number one. And you should feel your arms working already. Breathe. Good. Now close your eyes and put both palm on your eyes. So the fleshy part of your hand, which is, you know, the, you know, the lower part, it's underneath your eye socket and you just cover it. Close your eyes so you, it's kind of dark for a moment and just breathe. So now that you can close your eyes, focus in the middle of the forehead in between your eyebrow and just look forward. That is our third eye chakra which is intuition and which is seeing the truth. Seeing the real truth in us and seeing the truth in others. Trust your intuition. So keep looking in between. You might not see anything. That's not the point. If you see something, that means your third eye chakra is open. Thank you. It's great. Thank you, universe, for that. But other than that, just let's stay there for a brief moment. And breathe. And now quiet the mind for a moment. Good. Now then, slightly now using the flashy part of your hand, and then start massaging underneath your eye. So if you notice that the fingers are loose, I'm using this. So little circle up and down underneath your eye. Listen, I think we watch too much TV and we watch too much on our phone and the computer. The eyes get tired. I have dark circles. I have trouble sleeping. So this is good for circulation for the eye. Good. Now, open up a little bit from here. It becomes the side, which is the side of your thumb. Now, lifting the eye corner. Now, who needs plastic surgeon if we can you know, do this and erase our own wrinkles, right? That's the whole point. Yeah, there you go. So lift, it's always up circle, always up. Never drag it down. So if you wanna just hold for a moment, look at my eyes, I'm lifting. So the eye is lifted, good, excellent. Now, let's go into, stay here, the hands on the cheek now. Let's just do the cheekbone a little bit. Again, it's lifting. 
lifting, lifting, little circle, big circle, and go into the temple, which is the side of your head. Good, beautiful. All right. Now, while we're here, you can bring your palm a little bit down on your cheek, lower cheek now. So now the hand, it becomes almost like covering your face. Good. Now put all your fingers on your forehead. Good. Let's just stay there for a moment and just press into your third eye and the forehead. Let's just do that for a moment. Now with your little pinky and all the fingers, circle. So from middle, the top of the bridge, up and out up and out good use pink pinky finger or all the finger whichever works for your head so basically you're doing a circle from the bridge of the nose up and out again up and out be gentle don't pull too hard but everything is up and out good up and out a few more. Go slow with slight pressure. Yes. Two more. And last one. Finish it. And we meet at the nose. So now my middle finger, it's on the bridge of the nose now. This is where the sinus pressure comes in. Okay? So you want to press and up and just press a little bit. So it's the bridge of the nose. You can go up and down. <clears throat> I mean, with the weather changes, we always get sinus, maybe nose problem, breathing problem. There you go. So keep going up and then maybe into the brow. And then now pull it open. Yes, again, from the bottom up, nostril to the bridge. Press and then open. Going to the ear. Again, up and open. Two more. Last one. Good. Now let's go to the ear. Okay? Basically, what you hear is you're twisting your ear a little bit. Yeah, just a little sort of small little massage. You can do one ear at a time or both from the top of the ear to the middle. Give yourself a little rubby rubby. Yes. Now maybe with your little finger, you can go inside. Not too deep, okay? It's just releasing pressure or maybe itchiness, whatever that is. Or you can pull it up and down and just hold for a moment. I mean, there's a lot of pressure points in our body, ears and everything. So if you, you feel sinus and head pressure, always press into the, the ear a little bit, not inside, like on the top of it and everywhere else. And that's it. Good. And then just cup the ear for a moment and just pull it back. So close to all the noise for a moment, breathe. Inhale, exhale, breathe. Exhale, good. Now, while we're doing it, obviously we're going to, to open the arm for exercise a little bit. Now, give me a little circle now. Good, beautiful, excellent. Good, there you go. Now we're going to go into the neck and the head. So from here, the back of the neck, just pull it to the front of the neck. Okay, I'm gonna take off the necklace because it's dragging. For me, you don't have to. Here again, back and forward. From the back, which is in between like the head, the back of it, pull it, circle around. So up and forward and down. Good, again, up, circle around. Two more. Last one. Good. Then go back, use two fingers in the back of the head. At the bottom, that's where the little um, area that's in press. So you feel it, use your fingers to press. 
You can even make little massage over there. And then maybe you can use your thumbs to the bottom and up and just press. So basically you're pressing your head, giving it pressure wherever that point, because we hold our head a lot. So we want to do that. Now you want to drop your head, not straining your neck. And then just give a little massage. Now, another thing is use your little knuckles on the hand. You can do your little knuckle, same thing. Bring it up. I hold a lot of pressure on my head, okay? And maybe because I think too much, my head hurts. <laughs> so this is really, really good. Bring it up and up. Now, I don't know about you, but all this exercise now is generating a lot of heat in my body. I'm getting hot. It feels like the energy is really circling, even we're doing, you know, on head. Okay, good. So just shake it out for a moment. Now I'm getting hot, so I'm taking off my shirt. <laughs> okay, that's for real. All right, let's go into the shoulder, okay? The shoulder first. So this is what we do. Again, this hand. So think about you kneading bread, making bread, right? So your muscle, it's the dough. So cross your right hand over the left first. Tap your back shoulder. Good. Just tap it for a few times first. Try the other side, just so we don't tire it up. Good. Now this is later on when this comes in handy. So if you have it, do it now. Seriously. Start with your right hand, be gentle. Yes, tap the shoulder. Now, not too much on the neck, okay? Because it's the back. So basically, you're tapping to the back. And that's why three balls work so well, because it will just hit the area. Yes, whatever that is, a few times. Because we want to loosen up all those tightness first, and then we're going to massage and knead it out. Good. Try the other side. Go slow. Let the ball do the magic. I hope it doesn't hurt. I mean, I can endure a lot of pain, so I need to just pound myself. <laughs> but you know your body best, okay? Good. Now, this is another way. Another way is to bend. So we're also working tricep at the same time. So use your, I'm sorry, use your right hand. We're gonna hit this way. If it's easier for you. It's easier this way than the other way? Good. Then hit it, just be careful, don't hit on your spine, okay? It's just the shoulder, a few times. Then when you're ready, try the other side. Good. Oh yeah. So there you go. <coughs> We're just massaging ourselves with the tennis ball, okay? In case you miss it. There you go. Now, be careful that when you swing, chill. Don't just let it free, free fall. Make sure you hold it and control it because I don't want to hit the spine. I just want you to hit the shoulder and the muscle when it's tight. Yeah, there you go. Okay, don't worry if you don't get it this time. We, we keep going it the next time, okay? So now that we are done with that, we do a little bit more. Now take your right hand over your shoulder to the back. Now make bread, make dough. Yes. Feel the area that you fight is the most tight. So I like to hold on to it and let it go. I like to squeeze it and let it go. But if it's too much for you, then give it tender loving care. Give it just a little massage. So it could go from the back of the neck, which is closer, to the top of it, then while we're in it, go into the shoulder. Yes. Oh, it feels so good. Oof. <laughs> and go into the arms may as well. So basically, you're taking your arm like you're riding a motorbike. Yes. There you go. Go into the forearm. We're going full in, might as well. Front and back. Front and back. 
Good, now go into the wrist a little bit now. Be gentle with the wrist. So hold your wrist. Good. And basically you're circling, like you're putting a bracelet on your hand. That's number one, you could do that. Then you can also rotate the wrist within that. So it's a double, okay? Then go into the hand. Yeah, hand. I just learned something today too. This area right in between, right here on the thumb, between the index and the thumb, this fleshy pet area, that's the pressure point that um, could help with digestion and stomach. I was told, I learned that, okay? So maybe there's indigestion or something, you know, that your stomach's not feeling well, press that for like 30 seconds or so, and supposedly it release the element, supposedly, okay? There's a lot of, uh, you know, knowledge in, um, in all these, which is, I believe, is the base of the Chinese medicine. It's a lot to learn. But anyhow, so keep going. You can keep pressing the point or go into all different areas, okay? And then you can massage your pinky and then the middle and the fingers and the thumbs. Good, and then just rub it together. Good, and then let it go for a moment. Swing your hand side to side. Be careful. Good, just be careful. And just hold for a moment. Hold that for a moment. Hug yourself. Good. And breathe out. Oh, excellent. Now let's do the other side, this side. We have a massage this side. So using your left hand now from the back of the neck. Pull it down and from the back, now go into the shoulder. Make bread, make dough, make pizza, whatever you want to make. Make dumplings. <laughs> and hold if you want, if it's, you know, it's a lot of pressure, if you feel, if not, keep kneading it. And then go to the outside, wherever that needs, and just use that. I felt it not over here, so I'm gonna press on it. Work on your body, you know your body best what's to do. If not, keep going on the shoulder. Yes, oh yeah, feels good. Good, don't forget the bicep, the tricep, going to the elbow, and then the forehand, like open and twist. I like to open and twist and forward and back and then go into the wrist same thing opening a jaw twist hold the wrist good and then maybe circling while you're twisting keep pressure good and then now go into same thing the inside of the palm the thumb in between the two fingers the third and the fourth and then massage every finger beautiful and then middle finger index and thumb and then collapse it for a moment and one more time and then breathe and then stretch forward yes bring it in and open there you go, squeeze the elbows together, really stretch those fingers. Excellent, and forward one more time, open. Inhale, and just give a little side stretch, bend the elbow, bend the elbow. Breathe, good, inhale, up, bend the elbow, and stretch, beautiful. Good, one more time, let go of the right, and then stretch. Now this time it's oh good. Bring your left hand down and up first. And then side. Good. Then open. Give yourself a hug. Oh, feels good. Really hug yourself tight. Tight, 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 tight. Then rise up. 
elbows front like taking all the sweater really control it control it control it control it control control and then open your chest into goddess so your chest is up chin is up and the arms is behind and looking up breathe beautiful and then come back up and roll it down excellent do you feel a little bit lighter i do all right, let's go into the other parts of the body now. Okay. Let's go into, I'm gonna sit back now so you can see. Okay. So let's go into the sitting part. Can you see me? You can see my whole body, right? Okay. So now this is when this comes in handy. So with your right, you can take the ball. Now we are talking about really making dough. Like roll, oh, you know what would what also work? If you had a rolling pin. Yeah, if you don't have my <laughs> tennis ball, get a rolling pin because your base of making dough. So this is the top a few times. Now I'm rocking forward also because I'm working on the abs, obviously. The inner thigh. Now inner thigh is the area that we really don't use a lot. So, but there's soreness to it. So you might be wanting gentle, okay? And also the outside. Yes, just let it roll. However, let the ball do the magic. You want to press down a little bit more for more pressure, okay? Now we can do it in circular motion. Good, excellent, all right. So that's that, now let's switch to your left. Again, make dough, make pizza, push it out, push it out, everything is out of the body. Yes, yes. Inner thigh. Outer thigh. It's a lot of work, isn't it? <laughs> or circle motion. Good. Stay there for a moment. All right. Let's just sit for a moment and see how that feels. Okay. Now bring your right knee over, cross. Good. Let's just stay there for a moment and just bring it in first and then bring it into your body yeah so it's a cross and in and breathe and hold chin down for a moment and breathe good and then open into figure four oopsie i dropped my ball because we're going to the leg area i'm doing this so that you can show my i can show my legs okay here same thing with the ball. Now we're going into the knee, the leg and the ankle area. Yeah. To me, I felt better if I had bare skin. So same thing. We use our knees a lot. So give that knee, yeah. Or if you feel that there is something that is like bothering you, press on it. Sometimes pressure would do the trick. Okay, like I'm feeling this one spot there and I want to get it out. So I'm pressing into it. Oh, I felt it. Oh, <laughs> oh, I found my spot. You have to find your spot. Oh, that was sore. But you know what? It felt so good. Oh, it's one of those. I really hated it, but I love it. <laughs> there you go. So I didn't realize it, but it's the front of my knee and almost in my shin. And, and I realized why that happens. Cause I've been doing a lot of uh, more high intensity Zumba other than you guys with my instructor. And I know this twice a week with that additional, I'm feeling in my shin now. Okay, so let's go into the calf a little bit. Same thing, the calf got sore also. So you could do it, and yeah, 
If this is cumbersome, you don't like it, hands, same idea. Make breath. Do whatever you want that works for your body. Yes. Make breath. I just keep falling down. <laughs> Until you go to the, the ankle area. So same thing, use your two thumbs. Press down. So one thing is the back of it, the, uh, what do you call it? Achilles heel area or the tendon. Use that and go down to the heel. A lot of times we use our foot a lot, feet a lot, and didn't realize that. And there's a lot of pressure over there. So you want to bring it out. Pressure, but be gentle. And then right in between this area, there's also a pressure point there and you can press into it. Ooh, I feel the pain. Excellent. And keep rubbing and out and out and out and out. Now use both hands, one on the bottom, one on top. So you're basically squeezing the heels at the same time using both hands and just rub it. So now I'm rotating. I'm holding on to the, the ankle, kind of support it so you don't over twist. And then you rotate. I'm holding it so it's kind of protect because I don't want to overdo it that I might, you know, take something out of alignment. Yeah, so use your toes to make circles. Then go the other way. Good. Now take the feet and really flex it. Hold the top of your feet with your toes. Really flex it. So this is still relax, but flex it. So basically you're peeling your toes open. Yes. Then bring it all the way down. Now be careful. Don't overstrain that ankle. But you want to just press the toes down a little bit so you feel the stretch in the front. Yes. Hold however long you want until you get the stretch that you need and you let it go. Good. Now let's get into the toes, okay? Toes are just as important. So we hold the toe, we kind of give it a little massage and in between the toes, go into the second one. If it cracks, it's even better. And the third one, oh, every single one is cracking. <laughs> and the fourth one, and then the little one. And when you're ready, hold the leg, hold the bottom, and hold the front, and just bring it to your body as close as your body tells you to do. And sit up tall and breathe. And then extend front, so it's a little front and back motion, but be gentle with the knee. You know what your knee can do and not do. Good. And then side to side, open just a little. Try to isolate the body, meaning the body doesn't move and only move from the hip. See if it's possible. Good. Now extend that leg front, cross the body, both hands. So you feel the stretch over here and on this side of the hip. Right, it doesn't have to be there. If your flexibility is over here, you can do it at ankle. I myself find it harder because I'm so used to it. So everyone is different, okay? So your left arm, right foot, and just stay there for a moment and just give me just a little sit up tall balance, breathe, and really flex that foot. Bring the knee in just a little bit and switch hands. Stretch it in front of you first. Now this time point and then open the hand for balance and then slowly, slowly, slowly opening to the side. Good. Now flex it. Even better, more energy. And bring it front again and then bring it into your body. This time hug it as tight as you could or even put it on your chair if it's possible. If not, no big deal. It all depends on your flexibility, okay? 
and it helps if you sit back to your chair a little bit so from here press your chest to knee and look down and then relax now it also helps if you put your hand on the chair this is what i do if this is too much for you put on the chair and you go down breathe five four three two one and come up and then slowly stretch that leg and we're done with this leg okay let's go to the left now all right what happened to my music let me go back to my music first here we go again okay so get your left foot up the knee up first inhale exhale and just chin for a moment and breathe Good, and then extend for a moment first, stretch, and then cross it. Did we roll on this side yet? We didn't, right? Did, did we? We did, okay. Because I, <laughs> I forgot totally. Just stay here for a moment and breathe, and then bring it up into a figure four. There you go. Now you can peel your legs up because we'll work on this side now. Here we go. Boss. There you go. So here we go from the knee. Roll it or find a point. Now while we're doing it, we are also stretching the left side of your hip. That's why we're in figure four. We're multitasking, just so you know, okay? Because let me tell you, one hour is not enough to stretch. There's so many parts of the body that needs to be, you know, massage and stretch. <laughs> now go into the calf area or the shin area. Again, you can go slow and find the spot because I know I have spots in the front of my shin that is so, oh, I found it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oof. Ooh. And just give it some pressure and that's it. Sometimes that's all you need or just a little gentle. Because what happens is, you know, when muscles tightens up, it hardens. And when it hardens, you don't massage it, it holds tight and that's where the pains and aches are. And that's why we need to do this frequently to release tension, release toxin. Okay, when you're ready, let's go into the, the ankle a little bit. If you can see, you can go front and back in just a little. And then when you're done with the ball, you can let it go and just use our, our hands now. So same thing, use the other hand and rub the back, the Achilles heels area. And let whatever that is toxin and drain it out. And this is also a good time to take a look because they said when your heels are yellow, which is jaundice, that means there are some issues with your kidney. It goes into the heel. Okay. And then keep rubbing the heel a little bit. Now hold the ankle and just rotate. One direction and then the other direction. Be gentle with the joint. Good. Then both hands massage the back of the foot. Push it up and out. Make make circle middle and open like a flower opening through the middle and open to the ball of the foot or if you feel that there's certain pressure point you want to press onto it do so and go to the ball the fleshy part until we go to the big toe all right, here we go. Let's massage your back toe a little bit in between. Then the second toe, in between. The third toe, in between. 
the fourth and the pinky in between, and then squeeze and press. So you're opening those toes. There you go. You can use your hand this way or this way, it doesn't matter. Press it open. Then hold your ankle for a moment and just press it down. Be gentle with the ankle joint and press those toes down. And this is the flexibility. When we do relevé, you know, ups and down, when we do ballet, this is a, this needs to be flexible, those toes. There you go. Good. So when you're done, breathe and bring your hand to the bottom and bring this and just go forward and back, forward. Again, be mindful of your knee. <clears throat> Sometimes I notice if the knee start hurting, I put my thumb on the pressure point where it might be irritating. <clears throat> so I know that I won't fully extend and I know where to go. And then side to side. That's it. From the hip joint. Good. And hold it in as far as your body tells you. And I breathe. Okay, then take the leg across your body, whatever that is for you, try to straighten it. It could be just over there. Breathe. Then open your arm. That's it, it's not about height, it's about extension, okay? Breathe, five, four, three, two, one, point. Switch hands in front first. Then open, and then open. Breathe, five, four, three, two, flex. Good, bend and come back forward. And hug it one more time tight as you could, or put your leg on the chair again. Oh, this is what I forgot to do. Take the ball. This is the area. This is for the hip that you didn't know. Put the ball right underneath the sit bone area while you do that. Yes. Fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Find the spot. Be careful, though. Be careful, though. Okay? Yeah. Because there are sore areas that you didn't know. So you just sit on it. You can roll around just a little bit and find that area. Believe me, if we do enough squats, you will feel it. So you have to find it where it is. Now you can adjust the ball. This is what, if you do a long way, this way, the hip you can find right under and front and back. If it's sideways that you feel it, then you do it sideways. So you have to find where it is for you. I know it's front and back, so I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, I'll just sit into it for a moment and feel it. Oh, yes. Now, if you do it sideways, if you do it sideways, the ball sideways on the chair, adjust it first, and then you open, and then you open your leg a little bit, now we're talking about using your chair for support. Now we're rolling the hip. Hold your chair for support though. You should feel it on your hip. Oh yeah. Now if this is too much on your knee, you could do exactly the same thing. Let go of the leg and just rock back and forth, back and forth on the hip wherever that is for you, okay? And also this area that you can find, put it on a chair. Oh, come on, please tell me you find your spots. <laughs> I have to laugh because it hurts, <laughs> but it's, it's funny at the same time. <laughs> and this side of the hip, which you didn't know, let me tell you, press on it. Oh, I can tell. Bernard is feeling it, right? <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so we didn't do the other side. So we do the same thing now. <coughs> Half.
however way you want no more like it's just underneath the hip area <clears throat> and then just rock back and forth you in a chair yeah find the area find it where it needs to you can just sit on it or rock and roll whichever works and just let it roll See, I can even move my feet around for all range of motions. Or you can just rock back and forth or let it just hold. Oh, I fell the spot. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Make noises. <laughs> feel it. Oh my God. I feel it on the outside. So I'm going to twist and just find my spot and just press on it. This is kind of free form, okay? Again, using that ball will help you. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, this, this was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, let's just shake it up for a moment. Let's just shake it up. Let's go side to side. Make sure the spine like jellyfish. And reach forward and back for a moment. Okay, now we are, I'm gonna turn so you can see the side of my body. We are gonna use the chair and this to roll our back. I'm gonna turn, you don't have to turn, so you can see me, okay? So in your chair, you can put the roller against the chair. Now, if we're gonna talk about lower back, so it's basically where your, right about your tailbone area. Yes, that's your lower back. So <clears throat> you do a sideways first, and then you kind of sit, wiggle a little bit in your chair. That's my whole point. You're just gonna wiggle and press yourself into the ball, and let that, there you go, and let it free form and let it just, but don't control it. This is not an app exercise, this is release. So it might go up a little bit. If that's the case, let it go up. Okay, because they do travel. Now the ball is traveling up on my back now. It's not even a lower back anymore. It, it almost like it has a life on its own. And it goes to my low, the, the middle back, which I need, because it's right there, I felt it, yes. <clears throat> now if you want, you can lean back. You'll hold the chair, just lean back a little bit for pressure if you want. Oh yeah, maybe a little bit more for the chest. Ooh, close your eyes, breathe into it, inhale, exhale. Keep going, keep moving. And then if you want, you can keep adjusting the ball. This is all about the back now. If you want, you can go make it all the way up to the top right hold it first and then slide your body forward so that your shoulder blade is on the chair supporting you and then the ball is right underneath it so you're using your body to press against it so chair is holding and press and then open and go back maybe the hands up in the sky and look back make sure both feet is on the floor Wherever the pressure you want it, make it happen for yourself. Excellent. Now, you might want to circle the arm a little bit, if it helps, opening and closing, like swimming. I kind of like to hang out, you know, with the hands behind the head a little bit. Just opening the heart. This is a heart opener, chest open, throat open. Let your heart, let your love shine, let your throat, let you speak. And opening all those energies. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back forward, just a little bit. Good, stay here. Good, all right. <clears throat> Last but not least, inhale, 
exhale and fold forward. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you to take the balls away from your back. <laughs> and then half up and look forward. Exhale and surrender. And come up. Finish with your breath. Two more sun salutation like this. Inhale up. Exhale, reach forward first and touch. Inhale, half up and arc forward. So the hands are in front. Look where my hand is. So squeeze your shoulder blade together. It's right in front of the shin and just stretch. This is almost like a cat. And then exhale and fold belly over thighs. And then inhale and up with a big arm. One more time. Inhale, big. The sun, the energy, the sky. Reach forward and the hinge. Exhale and looking down, connecting with Mother Earth. Then half up and look forward and stretch the neck. And then exhale again, connecting to the ground. And then coming up. And press. Beautiful. All right, we're going to do some eagle stuff. While we do that, let's bring the right leg over first as tight as you could. Squeeze the thighs, inner thigh, everything together as much as you could. Then bring your right arm down, left elbow. This is level one. This is level two. Three is intertwined. Right here, inhale. Good. Inhale one more time, stretch. And exhale and fold yourself, elbow to thigh, as little as possible. And put your forehead right between your hands. Squeeze everything in, breathe. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. Then next one, come up, stretch the arm, then open and let it roll. Big wings, take flight. Good. And then inhale and put your left over your right thigh and twist and look back. This arm could hang out or you could wrap around your chair if you want for a deeper twist. Keep looking towards your right. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. And come back and give me a counter twist first. Breathe. Then come back up and extend the leg and stretch one more time. Oof. And breathe. Then bring your left knee up and cross tight. <coughs> keep the calves together, keep everything in. Then bring your left arm over, right elbow over, level one, level two, level three. Inhale up. Exhale for elbow to thigh. Five breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. And come up. Again. Stretch this time. In and out. In and out. In and out. Good. Then your right arm over to your left thigh and twist and open. Again, the other arm can hang up or wrapped around the chair if you want. And keep looking towards your left. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Both arms up and count to twist one more time. Release that leg. And one, open all the way. Inner thigh. 
press forward using your chair. Feel the stretch of the inner thigh. Good, so my heels are to the chair and I press this open. You can do it or use the chair. The chair is always good. You should feel the stretch over here and breathe and stay tall. Breathe, five, four, three, two, one. Good, put both feet down squarely here and stretch forward, shoulder drop. Look to the outer, the outer side, up. Switch sides. And then fold forward one last time. Opening the legs in between, in between, in between. Until you can't go no more, then maybe touch your shin and just drop for a deep forward fold. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. And slowly roll up vertebra by vertebra. And close your eyes for final relaxation. Take a moment to feel the results of this class. Feel every muscle, every joint, every bone, every organ. Feel the tingling sensations, maybe in your fingers, in your toes. Feel the vibration that's happening in your body right now. <clears throat> With your both feet still grounded, imagine this red, earthly, rooted energy circling you, grounding you solidly to the earth, giving you power as who you are. That's the red root chakra, grounding us, knowing who we are. And that that energy keeps circling around us and keep going up until it gets to the hip, which is an orange color energy, which is a sacral chakra, which gives us the power of sexuality, reproduction, And feel that divine feminine energy circling, giving us the power. And up to the front of our abs, our rib cage, and the back, which is the solar plexus, yellow light, which gives us confidence how we feel. When we talk about gut feeling, that's where it comes from. And your gut feeling is the survival of human being. The fight or flight comes there. You know it's right, you know what's wrong. Or you know when to approach or when not to. That's the gut feeling. And then keep going up, the energy and power goes to the heart, which is an admiral green light shining from inside the heart, going forward and back and sideways and all around that is of love, compassion, peace, gentleness, kindness, forgiving. That's where it is. And let that green light keep going up to your chest and spread all the way to your shoulder, to your fingers. And give yourself a hug because that's what arms are for. That's what love is for. Hug yourself. And then open it up to hug others. Giving the love to others. Unconditional. And then let the energy keep going up to the neck, to throat with a 
light blue aquamarine blue and that is the throat chakra which allows us to speak to speak the truth there are times that we have things to say but we hold our tongue because we are afraid but if it's truth there's no need to be afraid so let's open the third chakra and speak our truth. And then let the energy keep going up to the head until it's on the top, the crown of your head, which is your crown chakra. And you can make a crown if you want to with that violet, bright purple light shining. And that's your true essence shining on top of your head that fire, that energy as who you are, and then connected to the sky, to Heavenly Father, to the universe. And you are connected up to that bright diamond white light as one from earth to heaven, you are connected as one. And with that, we reach up and receiving that golden diamond like coming down like a column of rain and bright light coming down and covering us from head down, throat, shoulder, heart. Rib cage, hip, legs, feet, and then spreading the light towards the earth so that now we are protected by the divine. And no harm, no darkness will harm us anymore because we believe in the positivity and the possibility of love, light, compassion, peace, and all things that's good. So let's bring our arms up to the sky one more time, receiving the light, and then bring your palms together and through the middle of your heart, middle of your body and set it in your heart slightly bowing down for the universe for blessing us and thanking ourselves to take the time for some self-love self-care and the light and the love in me honors the love and the light in you namaste Thank <laughs> you.